them for your work They make you mean, they make you work They take your work, they take your work Your self-esteem, they make you hurt They make you hurt, they make it seem like it ain't worth it But it's always worth it Hey YouTube world, this is your girl Yana's Eyes Coming to you with a review So I have been hearing a lot of positive reviews about this makeup brush cleaner um, the reviews say easily cleans your brushes as well as it's a quick dry. So Black Friday just passed us and I could not pass up the opportunity to try Cinema Secrets. It's funny because I call them Cinnamon Secrets. But it says that it is 99.99% bacteria free which is what we want and then it is also a quick drying rinse free formula yes you absolutely heard what I just said that I can clean my brush with this solution and not rinse it off that is going to be a challenge for me because I naturally want to wash off any chemicals but for the sake of the drying time, I'm, I just got to give it a shot for how it says. It says it's quick drying and it's rinse free and it's going to kill all the bacteria. So, alright. Um, to go along with that, they had like a little special and you get this little tin can. So, I'm able to put the solution in the tin can and then pretty much swirl and dip it around in here. I'm just going to do a few brushes just to kind of show you what it looks like. So if you're interested in seeing the quick drying, rinse free, 99.99% bacteria free cinnamon it still secrets. still definitely like, let me stop. remains This is cinema stained, secrets. Uh, slightly. Okay. If you're but interested in seeing it did, it, if it cinnamon good. secrets like, works I, um, as it says, keep watching. Like her brushes. As far as white bristle, they they stain like that. But this one, it looks pretty good to me. I did still see a light, slight faint pink. So I dipped it again. Just third time is a charm sometimes. And again, the product was not coming off. But neither was that stain. And, you know... As long as it has that bacteria-free aspect to it, I'm going to go ahead and be satisfied. I mean, you can't see it as much as I can because I'm looking at it uh, with a critical eye. This is from the Red Sonia set. Okay. And it's just, you know, a blush brush. So, quick dip. I think I, I dipped it a little longer on that one because it was so red. And then you just, you know, get rid of the product by brushing it over the towel. And as you see, that's not a problem. It definitely gets the excess excess product off. Um, and it keeps going until there's none left. Just with your white brushes and you're just gonna have some stainage with this particular product I can say that whenever I use the dawn antibacterial soap and apply some love some TLC some tender love and care um, my white brushes do come out uh, cleaner but um, they will not dry as quickly because you can actually feel the difference in moistness just from using this product. You see, like, I wouldn't be able to do that with antibacterial soap. They are wet and heavy, but, you know, I absorbed all of that little bit of product that I just used from those two brushes. Um, I guess that's one of the sacrifices of dry time. So 
poured a little bit more solution in there and because it was still pink stained I went in for a third dip and I actually after a while I started dipping it in there a lot longer because uh, I was hoping to just get that to be a whiter than whiter than white whiter than whiter than white but as you can see no more product is coming off of that brush the paper towel is as white as snow in that area that I'm brushing it on but I just if they were white brushes I still want them to be white brushes it's just me but these are definitely still a little bit stained but like I said it's practically dry now with my darker brushes from the uh, purple rain set of the on his eyes collection whenever you wipe that off as long as you stop seeing product you're not going to see stain at all the stain is just non-existent uh, the amount of product and the amount of paper towel eh, gave me a little bit of concern I was concerned because that's to me it's like a, a little bit of a waste whereas whenever I use my antibacterial soap I just have to shampoo my brushes shampoo show them some TLC and then put them on this particular towel to dry so I I didn't save time on the process <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys I'm still trying to get over a cold I didn't save time on the actual process of cleaning the brushes going one at a time because as you can see from my last video couple videos that is has been my goal is to try to save time on these brushes however I did save drying time I can go and instead of waiting a whole entire day I can wait a few hours and you use these brushes so that I didn't use as much solution however that solution was kind of thick and muddy so I had to you know rinse that out and prep my container for nonetheless the foundation brush which is going to be a, absolutely the most difficult I wanted to see if not only can I get it clean, uh oh, but just about checking on the drying time. It was a perfect fit in there. Please believe that as I'm soaking this in there, and I don't think that I should have put it in there that long, even just that one dip, you can see the difference in the actual bristles. But you see all that product? It's a lot, a lot, a lot of product. And I expected that from my foundation brush because I may do um, three to five faces before I actually clean it. So that solution was no more good. Had to rinse it out. Being as though you know, foundations can be pretty thick. I'm just going to go in with the last little bit of solution because if you look at the brush I mean it's practically clean I do love the cleaning power of this cinema secrets I absolutely do for the sake of money I probably will still go with my um, antibacterial soap because as you can see all that product yep I'm using more paper towels had to grab those but the brush is I can't you know I can't a spade is a spade I get money like that I'll buy the biggest jar of cinema secrets they have um, keep the handle as easily cleaned and again just go into that product trying to get the brush 
foundation free and it will keep cleaning until the product is gone but as you can see the product is a lot lighter you know it's a lot lighter and that product is coming off just the sake of using too many paper towels and maybe maybe I'm doing it wrong definitely comment below but it it the product just kind of kept coming and kept coming and kept coming but it's almost practically dry just from using it and look at that that's like a clean brush for real this like brand new brand spanking no And I keep rubbing my hand across it because it's so amazingly soft. I love this foundation brush. And I can also say that with my antibacterial soap, um, there's a lot of massage, a lot of TLC that goes into getting the brush to this status because, to be honest, um, that's a lot of foundation. Three to five looks is a lot of foundation. And if you're mixing foundations or using different ones at different times, and you definitely want a clean start. So that was it. I used all but that little bit of solution in order to get my foundation brush correct. Have no fear. The 16 ounce bottle is here. <laughs> um, this was like 40% off. All right, so definitely shout out to the Pittsburgh Steelers and my terrible towel. But I decided to choose just a few <clears throat> from the Yonis Eyes brushes. Excuse me. Just ones that were uh, white bristles. Of course, those are going to be the most challenging. And then from the Purple Rain set, um, I chose some saturated, highlighter saturated brushes. And the most complicated, your girl's foundation brush. There's probably about three different foundations on there, but we're going to see what it's hitting for. All right. So the tin can came at a nice, reasonable price. It's very small. At first, I thought maybe my um, foundation brush wouldn't fit, but it does. I just take a little bit of the solution. This one was kind of small, but for the price, which was under $10, uh, I couldn't pass it up. I basically just says do a quick dip in the solution and then brush it on out on a paper towel or a towel, which I have here, but I do have paper towel as well, so that you can actually see the product leaving from, from the brush, okay? So I poured a good bit inside of the um, container just because I pick bigger brushes. And um, I'm going to definitely do the foundation brush last, but I wanted to make sure it fit, and it does. All right, so I'm going in. Here's my paper towel, Viva Glam. Shout out to Viva Glam for having the softest, nicest paper towels. I don't want to use my actual uh, terrible towel, okay? So it does say quick dip. And as you can see, the product is coming off. The product is coming off. Quick and easy just from that little quick dip. Um, the white brushes, they really never did come 100 in total, 100% stain free which whenever I use the antibacterial soap from Dawn, it does. So you see, I went in for a second dip. And again, even though I went in for a second dip and you don't even really see any product coming off on my paper towel, I have absolutely no idea why my sound cuts out, but I highly recommend Cinema Secrets. 
if your budget can handle it then it's definitely worth the drying time power power that it has that's me talking about how you should subscribe to my channel comment below and hit that bell so that you can stay connected to me i have yet to find um the different types of videos that are most appealing but as long as i'm thinking about it then i'm definitely going to achieve it i appreciate your time and your patience and for watching this video so this is your girl yonder's eyes saying see you when i see you peace For your work, they make you mean, they make you work, they take your work, they take your work, your self-esteem, they make you